Oh, hi there. I didn't see you come in. My name is Father Mike Schmidt. This is Ascension Presents. I have a couple of favorite psychologists because what priest doesn't have a couple of favorite psychologists? And one of them is a man named Dr. John Gottman. Dr. John Gottman, um, he, I don't say pioneered, he did, he did, he pioneered like the study of micro, what he called micro expressions. At one point he mapped the entire human face, all the muscles in the human face, and then did all the, like the muscular combinations that would be all the, basically all the facial expressions a human being could possibly have. One of the things he found was that, uh, was that across the board as human beings, we have some of the same basic facial expressions for the same basic human emotions, whether that be in the developed world or in some you know, remote tribe that had never seen the developed world ever. We, always have, we all have the same kind of expressions for joy, for disgust, for contempt, for sorrow. And it's just really fascinating how united we are as human beings. But he also was able to kind of diagnose four facial expressions or four expressions or four elements in a couple's or any human relationship that what he called the four horsemen. Now, I might have mentioned this in another uh, video before in the past, but I want to highlight on one. So the four horsemen, he called them four horsemen of the apocalypse, be apocalypse because he, if he saw them on a regular basis in a couple's interactions with each other, particularly when it comes to marriage, he said, oh man, this, this spells impending doom, right? This is, things do not look good. Things are pretty bleak. He actually maintained that he could, by watching a couple have a conversation for more than 15 minutes or for about 15 minutes, he could determine whether or not they were on the brink of divorce or not. So the four horsemen. Um, one is defensiveness. The second is stonewalling. The third is criticism. And the fourth is contempt. Um, now, I want to make other videos about the, the, the th other three horsemen, but the other three horsemen, but the one I want to talk about is the second one, stonewalling. And here's why I want to talk about it. Because defensiveness is kind of obvious. You just, you get defensive, right? Someone says something and you're like, put up the dukes and like, okay, well, yeah, but you also do things wrong. Um, criticism, kind of obvious. Um, why do you always, why are you always late? Why do you never remember to do what I said? How can you never pay attention to what I, what I, what I ask you to do? And fourth, he calls, uh, this the, the big one, the big bad, bad, big bad daddy of them all. I just made that up. He doesn't call it that. Um, contempt is just this disgust, you know, that when disgust registers on someone's face towards the other or in their body language or in their words, it's bad news bears. But the one I want to focus on is stonewalling. And the reason I want to focus on it is because A, I think it's often misunderstood. B, because it is super subtle. And C, because it's really prevalent in all relationships, not just romantic relationships. Um, so uh, A, it's misunderstood. What is stonewalling? He or other people have given the example of basically um, someone comes home, say, say it's a husband and wife, so Jack and Jill. And Jill comes home and she's like super happy. She's like, I. Jack, I got a promotion at work. He's sitting there at the kitchen table and he's reading his newspaper because it's what, 1950. And she walks in and she's like, Jack, oh my gosh, this is so great. I got a, I got a call from my boss at work and he's giving me a promotion and da, 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 da. And Jack just looks up and is like, hmm, you know, we're out of milk today. Or she comes walking in the door. She's like, Jack, oh my gosh. Oh, what a day I've had. Like I, on the way to work, I hit a pothole and the, and the, I had a flat. I finally fixed it. I came in late to work. And then when it was there, like this happened and this happened. On the way home, traffic was just massive. I don't know what was wrong with today, but traffic was way worse than it's been in a long time. And he looks up and he's like, are you kidding? Huh? Uh, yeah, we all have bad days. And he goes back to his, his uh, news feed. The issue there, stonewalling, is like having a poker face. And it's that sense of like, okay, you were very excited. Okay, neat. You're having sadness, sorrow, grief. Hmm. Okay. It's the stonewalling, right? It's just the, uh, that sense of, I'm not going to respond to whether you're up here or whether you're down here. I'm just kind of like, Hmm. Now my guess is you probably have done this once or twice because we've all kind of done this once or twice. And it's so subtle and it's, here's why it's subtle is because if I was defensive, I have to say something to be defensive. Like I have to kind of be defensive. Someone can say, hey, why are you being so defensive? If I was going to be criti critical, I'd be, have criticism or contempt, I have to be active. Stonewalling is I just get to sit there. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the thing is, it's again, why it's so subtle is it, it's always, uh, I can always explain it away. I, I always have, no, someone says, well, come on, no, give me something. You're like, oh, I'm listening. I'm listening. 
Mm -hmm. and, and it's because of that, what happens is a person ends up not being seen. Because it's more than to, be, to being seen than, than just like literally being seen. You probably have heard that, that uh, how, how, how great the desire is as human beings to be seen, to be known, to be cared for, to be loved. Stonewalling shuts all of those things down. You might have heard of the, there's a tribe in Africa, I'm not sure, I should probably track it down, like what it is, but one of their greetings for each other is not just, hey, hello, not just what's up. Their greeting is, I see you. I see you. You ever been in a situation where you're with someone that you find difficult to love? And so you're in the same room with them and you avoid eye contact with them? They're there and you just kind of like, but you might have eye contact for a brief moment, but then you look away, kind of go to the next thing. You're just kind of like, you just avoid eye contact with them. Why? One of the reasons is because like, okay, I don't necessarily like them. I find them difficult to love, but also you realize probably that you have a high call to love them. And when you meet their gaze, one of the things you can think of maybe is that shame of like, I don't love you like I should love you. And so I'm not going to look at you. Stonewalling is this sneaky way of just avoiding that eye contact. It's a way of avoiding seeing their gaze. It's a way of avoiding loving someone. Because all that person wants when they walk in the door, all the person wants is just like, just see me. Just please let me know that you see me. And if you just have a poker face, like I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm not intentionally hurting you. I'm not yelling at you. I'm just, in some ways, acting as if you don't really matter which is one of the reasons why it's so pervasive. Because you can pull it out anytime, in any kind of relationship, when you feel like, I just don't want to love. So your boss comes in, or an employee comes in, or a coworker comes in, or a friend comes in, and they're like, okay, meet me up here, or meet me down here. And you're just like, hmm, and you look away. But as Christians, as followers of Christ, the least we can do is meet someone with our gaze. As a follower of Christ, the least that we can do is make eye contact. As a follower of Christ, the very least we can do is say, okay, Jesus said, love one another as I have loved you. I mean, even think about this. When Jesus called the rich young man, come, you know, go sell what you have, give it to the poor, then come follow me. It's right before this. It says, looking at him, he loved him. How often is just looking at someone a way of loving them. You and I are called to see people. We call it to not just stonewall and have a poker face when they're saying, come meet me up here, come meet me down here. But we're called to have that gaze of Jesus. To say, I see you. You're excited. That's wonderful. You're heartbroken. That's awful. I'm with you. I see you. And I don't just see you with my own eyes. I don't just love you with my own heart. I see you with the eyes of Christ. And I want to love you with the heart of Christ. How would your relationships be transformed if you and I decided, okay, I'm going to say no to stonewalling. I'm going to say no to that kind of just that passive expression. I'm going to say no to avoiding eye contact. I'm going to say no to not seeing them and I'm going to look up. I'm going to meet their gaze with the gaze of Jesus. I'm going to meet their longing for love with the love that comes from the heart of Jesus. And I'm going to do this starting today. Because why not? Best time to start. For all of us here at Ascension Presents, my name is Father Mike. God bless. Be sure to like, subscribe, share it with friends, or keep it secret. Don't tell anyone, and you just start loving people um, and saying no to stonewalling. You know what I'm saying? You know, keep it on the DL. You just be like, they're like, whoa, why are you loving me so well? Like, no big deal. Whatever. Saw it in a video once. Okay. Anyways. <laughs>